David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about static CE2301. We're talking about moment of inertia, and we're gonna, we've already solved this one way, and we're going to use a different method to uh, solve this problem. It's got a couple of parts to it. Uh, in this case, I've got this L-shaped section. There's my dimensions. Looks like I've wiped out part of my line here. Anyway, I'm going to divide this up into a positive area and a negative area. So my positive area is going to look like this. It's a rectangle of 6 by 8. So I'm going to call that area 1. And then I'm going to take this the cutout area, as we call it, and call that area 2. It's this cutout shape. That a smaller rectangle that's six by four. So that's really two. Let's make it blue. Okay. Same kind of thing. First thing I want is the moment of inertia about this x-axis at the base. So I'm going to use the parallel axis theorem over and over in this course. That's equal to the, it says Ix is equal to the Ix prime, the centroidal moment of inertia, the moment of inertia of each segment about its own centroid, plus AD squared. For this rectangle that's 4 by 6, its centroidal x prime axis is right there. For the big 6 by 4, 6 by 8 rectangle, I've got a centroid right like that at half of its height so that's its x prime okay compute the areas it's easy math the big rectangle 6 by 8 or 48 inches squared the smaller rectangle is 4 by 6 it's 24 inches squared. Okay, now y tilde is the distance from the a reference point. This is just solving for the centroid, just like we've been doing all along. Y tilde is the distance from, I'll say, the reference axis x up to the centroid of the shape. And for the big rectangle, it's half of its height, or 3 inches. For the little rectangle, the cutout, it's 2 plus 2 inches to its centroid, or 4. That's 2 plus 2. Okay, now, just the same way. Oh, I forgot this is a negative area, a negative 24. Very important. Now I just multiply my y tildes times my areas. I get that this one, the big one, is 144. The little one... The cutout is negative 24 times 4, or negative 96. Okay, now I want to compute, well, let's, let's first calculate where y bar is, just the same way we've been doing it. Sum of 48 and negative 24 is 24. The sum of 144 and negative 96 is 48. Y bar is 48 over 24 equals 2 inches. Just like I did on that last example, I want to draw that in here in green. That's the centroid of its of the composite shape. That's the X prime axis of the overall shape. 2 inches above the X axis. Okay, now I'm back on track. I want to compute this first term of the parallel axis theorem, which is the moment of inertia of each segment about its own centroidal axis. Okay, I know from derivation using calculus that the moment of inertia Ix prime of a rectangle that's B h cubed to over 12, where its base is eight, B and its height is H. So, formula I want to plug in here for Ix prime. For the big rectangle, area 1, 
its base is 8, its height is 6, so I cube that, divide by 12. That works out to be also 144, just a coincidence. For this cutout area, its base is 6, its height is 4, cube that over 12, and that's equal to its negative number because it's a negative shape, so it's negative 32. So I can sum that column, and I get the sum of my ix primes is 112 inches to the fourth. Okay, now I want to do the second part of parallel axis theorem, which is the AD squared term. D is always the distance from the centroid of the individual piece, individual rectangle in this case, to the axis. It's the distance from that centroid to the axis that I'm taking moments of inertia about. So for the big rectangle and for the little rectangle, the cutout, that distance, I'm, since I'm taking moments about the x-axis, and that was my reference point for this y tilde column, it's really just y tilde. So I can just rewrite that term as, I can call that also dy. So now I just want to square that number and multiply it by the area for this d squared, dy squared a term. So that's 3 squared times 48 for the big rectangle is 432. For the cutout rectangle, the y tilde, which is also the dy distance from the centroid to the axis I'm taking moments of inertia about, is 4. So 4 squared times negative 24 is also a negative number and it's negative 320. I am sorry, negative 384. Looking at the wrong column. Check my math if you want to. I believe that's correct. So I sum this column 432 minus 384 is 48. Positive 48. So now I can calculate my Ix moment of inertia about the, the composite shape about the x-axis, this x-axis down here. That's equal to the sum of Ix prime plus the sum of the AD squared terms, which is equal to Ix prime is 112, and the AD squared term is 48. So that's 160 inches to the fourth. Okay, now I also want to get, solve for, the moment of inertia of the composite shape about its own centroidal axis, x prime. And so I've already got ix prime about its own centroidal axis. They're two inches above the x-axis is equal to the sum of ix prime, which I've already got, plus the sum of a new ad squared term, where this is a different d. So what I need to know for the d distance is the distance from the centroid to the axis I'm taking a moment of inertia about. For the big rectangle, the positive area, it's this distance here, 3 inches to 2 inches, so it's 1 inch dy. For the cutout, the centroid was here at 4 inches, but I want to go to this line 2 inches, so that's the distance of the dy distance there is 2 inches. So I put that in my dy column for area 1, the positive area it's 1, for the cutout area it's 2. Square those numbers, obviously 1 squared times 48 is 48. 2 squared for the area 2 times negative 24 gives me a negative dy squared 
a term of 4 times 24, negative 24, or negative 96. So I sum that column, 48 negative 96 is, positive, is negative 48. So now I'm almost there, just need to plug those into this equation here. My sum of my ix prime, each piece is centroidal uh, moment of inertia, uh, its own centroidal x prime axis is 112, same number, plus AD squared, which is a negative number, minus 48, is equal to 64 inches to the fourth.